I've known George since he was in elementary school, and I'm proud of you, George. I know your dad is very proud. I really want to honor you for your stance around your faith, your stance around the decisions that you've made to live godly lives and to represent Jesus Christ. And specifically in making Jesus the centerpiece of your marriage. It wasn't good for man to be alone. So he took the best part of man out and he created woman. You better believe that George's mommy has been praying for him like crazy. She's also been praying for you. And now as you come into this place as his wife, your prayers become the most powerful prayers, your declarations become the most powerful declarations. same way, George, nobody can speak life and love and approval and success and acceptance over Regina like you. Your voice is the most powerful voice in each other's lives. Regina, I can't believe I'm about to marry my dream girl. I remember after the first time I met you, that's how I described you to all my family and friends. Ask them. They can back it up. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't stop thinking about you. I felt like you were the only topic of conversation I was interested in. I was so blown away after the first impression at main event. And I knew I wanted you for the rest of my life. George, when I first met you, I never expected to be meeting the man that would have my heart forever. Thinking about the timing in our relationship makes my faith in God so much greater. He was faithful and provided the deepest desire of my heart, a husband who would be my security and my home. No words I could say can truly encompass who you are as a man. I love your fun-loving, goofy exterior and your sensitive heart. You make everyone around you feel important, validated, and heard. You bless my life every time we went on our fun, adventurous, spontaneous dates. At the end of every interaction we had together, I was left anxiously waiting for the next moment I could share with you. When we first met, I was at a point in my life where I didn't know what I wanted in a woman let alone a life partner, but God did.
Every time I was with you, I would hear this still, small voice that you are both those things for me. You care deeply and genuinely for everyone. You have helped me want to be a better daughter, sister, and friend. On top of all that beauty on the inside, on the outside just completes God's masterpiece. Thank you for always pushing me to move forward in life, to persevere and to see the brighter side of things. I love the way you always have the perfect joke in your pocket when I need a laugh, and the way you sing at the top of your lungs at the most random moments. <laughs> I love you until my last breath here on earth and for eternity in heaven. I vow to protect you with my life and support us through every season of life. I vow to always keep God at the center of our marriage. I promise to love you forever through anything and everything. I vow to pursue you with my whole heart every day for the rest of my life. I promise to make you laugh at every chance I get because I love that smile. George, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Words can't describe the feels I've got going on for y'all right now. For both you, George, and your gorgeous now wifey, Regina. Let's raise a glass to George and Regina's love story. It's been even cooler to be witness to that. We've all heard the story, but I knew George wasn't messing about when I got the call after George went into that main event commercial that August day. <laughs> he told me he thought he'd just met the girl he was going to marry, and I was like, whoa, really? Now for George to say that he was serious about a girl meant that she must be the real deal. Throughout the process he was praying I'm sure but I also remember him asking everyone like literally everyone in the family <laughs> what he should do because as you see most of y'all may know we were all going through a rough time ourselves when George met Regina. We were watching our pops leave his legacy here on earth and actually you know what part of his legacy was? It was mom and dad's love story. Dad always knew it was mom he was going to marry. It may have taken him a little bit of more time than he wanted, but he eventually swooped her off her feet. Our dad was a pretty great testament of God's love in teaching us to go after the desires of our hearts, as well as living each day to its fullest, which is something that him and mom instilled in us, and exactly what you did, George. When the time came to fully pursue the woman of your dreams, you pursued and pursued hard. Whenever he introduced himself to her, she was like, oh, George is my dad's name. How funny. And I think it's just funny whenever you call him George because it is a thing. My dad's name is George. My brother's name is George. It just runs in the family. And then another thing she made sure to tell him like straightforward and upfront was, I want to get married and I want to have kids. And so that did not run him off. When he first described Regina to me, I was like, would he like love this girl or something? It, he, he was so passionate about what he was saying. When I met you, I was like, wow, dude, like you, you describe it. I mean, she's so intentional. She doesn't just compliment you, but she is the best version of you. What do we truly think when we hear the word love? We have felt it, we've shown it. grown up learning the soul purity of it through our parents and our loved ones. We find purpose in it when we become strongly passionate about something, it has an energy to it. A consciousness that we don't need to see, but something every one of us naturally were built to feel.
is a literal poetry of the heart. And even sometimes in our darkest moments, we begin to believe in its absence. But the truth is, there is absolutely zero absence when it comes to love. You see it in the smallest doses every day. The evidence radiates in this very room. It fills our hearts with a happiness when we get to be a part of something that will change the lives of two people forever, Regina and George. And when you see them together, we all know one thing, and that is that they are undoubtedly and admiringly in love. Get back home